What is happening in gold this week ahead of Friday's jobs report? We have Frank Holmes joining us now from San Antonio Sporting, a new backdrop. Frank, thanks so much for joining us on Kiko's Gold Game Film. And here I am on the 25-yard line, waiting for football season. So are we, Frank, and we're also waiting for September to start. Uh, let's start by pulling up a monthly gold chart here. Quite some volatility we've seen, some excitement back in the market earlier in the month. What should gold investors be focusing their attention on now? What's gold's biggest threat? Well, let's talk about opportunities. Historically, when football season starts next month, September, gold is up. It has an incredible pattern of 80% of the time, gold is up in the month of September. So that's the positive part to look at. And what is the, the worry continu continuously is interest rates, interest rates, interest rates rising in the U.S. And I don't think it's going to happen. Well, Frank, in your morning commentary, you talk about gold production and the potential for it to peak. What could this mean for the price of the metal? Well, anytime you have a supply restriction taking place in the capital markets, prices rise. So I think it's very, very positive and constructive because the world's money supply with quantitative easing in all these different countries is only going to mean fa faster printing of money than they can produce that gold. And we're going to see gold probably drop by about 18% over the next five years. And Frank, talking off the record, you mentioned something interesting with regards to the mining space. We saw news of billionaire Carl Icahn betting on Freeport McMoran. Do you think it's time for investors to start looking at the mining sector again? I think so. I think it's very significant when you look at the sheer size and the change in that stock price from its lows to how much it ris has risen because of, of an activist investor. And I think you could probably see activist investing coming, looking at Newmont, looking at Barrick, uh, trying to force mergers, divest companies, etc. And that's a very positive note in the capital markets, looking at great deep value. All right, Frank. So what's your touchdown pass going to be this week? You call at the beginning. It's Friday. It's jobs, jobs, jobs. All right, Frank, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Thank you. and wishing everyone a beautiful long weekend coming up. All right, and thanks for watching Gold Game Film. We have Keith Fitzgerald joining us next. Stay tuned.